So I had a question on YouTube about how to export your arrange to something you can use in other programs. Like I assume this is going to be mostly for laser cutting. So if you wanted to cut these parts out of this cabinet, as I showed in the other video, which I'll put a card to here, we're in the manufacturing space, created a manufacturing model for your parts. I've already done that. So we're going to edit it. Once you're inside the edit manufacturing model dialog, you would do an arrange, which is this little guy. You'll find another them drop down here, arrange. I would select my objects, select a plane to put these on, which you could draw a sketch here. But if you know the size of your material, these are pretty big parts, 100 by 100 inches. is what works for these. I push OK. I've got my arrange here. So it's nested those as best it can inside that boundary. So then to get what you need, typically a DXF for say laser cutting, you would create a sketch, select a plane, go to project include or project. And then to just get the outlines here, I'm going to go to the bottom, select each of these pieces, push OK finish my sketch. If I turn off all these bodies now, you can see I have the outline. So all those parts nested real nicely. That's right here. We're still in the edit manufacturing model. You right click, save as DXF. And now that's on my desktop here. And that's pretty much it. So that gives you exactly what you need. If you're trying to laser cut this object or you need it to be in another program for some reason. Real quick, if you found any of our videos helpful, I'd love if you'd subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Did you do it? All right, back to your fusion content. Now, if you just wanted to export the 3D model, let's hide this sketch. We'll go to edit manufacturing model. And then when we're in here, we should be able to export by just right clicking on inside of here the set of 3d models or this assembly which has all these things so if i right click and go to export i can export these in fusion file so i'm just going to export the part that i've arranged uh, typically step is a great option for just generic export and you would just export that to your desktop or wherever you wanted that to be and that would be it if you've ever thought about learning CNC and CAM, we have a course called Learning the Basics of CNC and CAM that's available now. It centers around uh, learning kind of what you need to know to get started in CNC and CAM. Um, you probably watched some of our other YouTube videos and we go into a lot more depth than we do on YouTube tutorials and projects. Here are some of the course topics we're gonna cover. Obviously we're gonna cover getting started, things like CAM basics, CNC tools, feeds and speeds, the tool holders you use, what types there are, different work holding methods. And right now we're working on setting up CAM in Fusion 360, but we're also gonna cover setting up CAM in Vectric VCarve Pro. You can take this anywhere. Uh, you don't need any special type of device. You can do this on your laptop or smartphone. It keeps track of where you are in the course. So it's so super simple to do at any time, totally on your own pace. Uh, you can pay in payments and we've had quite a few happy people Here's what the course player is actually like. You notice there we have subtitles on every video and on the left are all the lessons. So you can go through each chapter at your own pace. And there's always a little bit of extra helpful information in text form or a download or a link below the video. There's also a free trial, so check that out. It should be somewhere here. You can start a free preview. Best of all, there are no ads and you can trust that we've put tons of time thinking into the best way for you to learn this, unlike trying to hunt around for different YouTube tutorials to learn the same kind of content. So if you have any questions, definitely let us know. You can get there by going to learn.portlandcnc.com or obviously there's a link in the description. Catch you on the next video.